Orange Pi, what is it and why do you care that it exists? Orange Pi is a mini PC slash project board company similar to Raspberry Pi. Now at the surface, Orange Pi looks like a direct ripoff of Raspberry Pi, but I wanted to dig a little bit deeper. So this is the Orange Pi 5. It hasn't released yet, but we do have a full sheet of specs for it. Unlike Raspberry Pi, which we don't have much information on their next installment. So let's start with the operating system. So Orange Pi does not have its own proprietary operating system like Raspberry Pi does with Raspberry Pi OS being built on top of Linux, of course. The Orange Pi website only lists Android and a couple of Linux distributions that'll run on the Orange Pi 5. So let's take a look at a couple of the hardware specs that I actually found interesting. So if you didn't know this already, the Raspberry Pi 4 actually has two dedicated HDMI ports, both supporting 4K 60fps. The Orange Pi 5, which hasn't even been released yet, only has one dedicated HDMI port. The other display ports on the Orange Pi 5 seem to be shared with other services. I'll show you what I mean. So here are the video output options for the Orange Pi 5. As you can see here, this is our dedicated physical HDMI port 2.1 that does up to 8K 60 Hertz. Now this is where it gets weird. We have our display port and then we have this four lane port. So the four lane port is, seems to be shared with the camera and then the display port seems to be shared with one of the USB 3.0s. So let's see, just looking at the board, this seems to be power and display port. This is the only USB type C on this whole unit. So this is a USB type C, a five volt power port, and also a display port. That type C is working over time. And then we have this four lane that can do up to 4K 60 Hertz, two of them apparently. So, where are you? We have USBs, we have our Wi-Fi, we have our onboard flash memory, we have our ethernet port, we have a USB 2.0, and then we have the camera one and LCD. So ribbon cable port, ribbon cable port. So we have five of these ribbon port type connectors. Maybe it's just me that thinks it's weird being used to the Raspberry Pi and not these other boards, but it just, this looks weird to me. Why there's just so much going on here. Why not just have another HDMI port? But hey, that's just me. So I wanna scroll down a little bit here and get to the ethernet. So it's got a one gig port on it, which seems a little odd considering that they're advertising this as a server. Multi gig is becoming so much more popular now. And I get it, maybe it's cost. They don't put a multi gig port on there. But if you're gonna advertise it as a server, I'd say I would want some multi gig functionality there, but hey. Teach his own. All right, and as for storage, this thing actually has some onboard memory on it. So it has 32 gigs of memory right on the board, right here, which is pretty cool. Raspberry Pi doesn't have this. It only has the micro SD slot for all of its memory. So the fact that this thing has memory built onto the board makes things a lot easier. You don't have to go around searching for an SD card all the time. You can have one standard OS that runs on the system, which I like, and then hopefully be able to boot from the SD card and kind of have a dual boot system. All right, so now for the big one, the CPU. So the Raspberry Pi 4 had a quad core that ran at 1.5 gigahertz. Now the Orange Pi 5 has an eight core CPU for the cores running at 2.4 gigahertz and the other four cores running at 1.8 gigahertz. Now why do we care and what does it do better? Now the first thing I wanna see from the Orange Pi 5 is emulation. I think if the emulators get a hold of it and do some optimizing, we could see some high end games running on this thing, I think. And depending on the price, might make it tempting over the Raspberry Pi 5. Now they also brag a little bit about AR and VR support. Now I'm not one to overhype things, but whatever level of VR this thing can do, I'm very interested to see. I'll just leave it at that. Now another use I'm interested in, in interested in. Now another use case I'm interested in is running it as a Plex server. There have been a million Plex server projects with the Raspberry Pi 4, and now we've doubled the cores and up the frequency. I'm really interested to see what the next wave of these little boards can do as far as video encoding and decoding. Now you might not be as interested as me in this next reason why I wanna try the Orange Pi 5, but it's video editing. Just looking at the CPU and GPU specs alone, I wonder how well this little board can perform with video editing. The Orange Pi 5 website actually lists AI as one of its crowning features so we have our NAS and then we have some video editing software and then we stack an AI on top of that we're talking about a YouTube botnet that will record edit and post videos on its own without me having to do any work FBI, open up! I think I've said too much